No one can imagine the beauty of the view, but scenes so lovely must have been gazed upon by angels in their flight. With these words, David Livingston first brought this great waterfall to the attention of the world. In the heart of southern Africa lies a natural wonder of such beauty that its name is known worldwide, the Victoria Falls. From the ground they are impossible to comprehend. Only from the air can they be seen and appreciated in their entirety. Welcome to your flight of angels. The Zambezi, one of Africa's great rivers, flows widely over basalt rock and through Kalahari sands. Nearly halfway along its epic journey from source to sea, the river is broad and wide. Annual rains bring life to the dry bush and swell the river. The deep water channel marks the border between Zimbabwe to the south and Zambia to the north. Islands scatter the surface offering safe sanctuaries for the wealth of wildlife that live along its margins. 
Suddenly, without warning, the Zambezi disappears. Its waters swallowed up into the depths of the Victoria Falls. Clouds of billowing spray are forced upwards, rising up to 900 meters into the air before falling as rain. Nearly two kilometers wide, the falls form the widest and largest sheet of falling water in the world. At the western end, the statue of David Livingston overlooks the Devil's Cataract, with a 62-meter cascade onto the rocks below. Cataract Island is the first of two islands which break the line of the falls. It is followed by the main falls, one of the most picturesque sections of the waterfall, and which carries a substantial volume of water all year round. Next is Livingston Island, named after the missionary and explorer, and it was here that he first saw them in 1855, describing it as the most wonderful sight I had witnessed in Africa. From Livingston Island to the Eastern Cataract runs the longest stretch of unbroken fall line. It is along this section that the falls are at their deepest, plummeting 108 meters. During the low water season, they become almost completely dry of water, exposing the bare rock of the gorge. At high water, huge volumes of water tumble into the void. Opposite, the river escapes downstream through a narrow gap, rushing into the boiling pot and on under the Victoria Falls Bridge. It was Cecil Rhodes who dreamt of a bridge across the Zambesi where the trains as they pass will catch the spray of the falls. Opened in 1905, the bridge was hailed as a man-made engineering wonder to rival the natural beauty of the falls themselves. Today, the bridge is one of the region's most famous landmarks and surely one of the most spectacular locations to bungee jump. Below the bridge, the river races on through the Batoka Gorge, its waters trapped within the narrow walls of rock which run for some 120 kilometers downstream. Overlooking the gorge is the historic Victoria Falls Hotel, one of the first buildings on the south side of the river and the beginnings of the small tourist town of Victoria Falls. See the Ladies and gentlemen, we are now approaching the helipad. Let me again take this opportunity to thank you very much for flying with us and uh, enjoy the rest of your holiday. Uh, thank you. <laughs>